Hi everyone. For today's book review, we're going to be checking out Hunt Class Destroyers in Polish Navy Service. Written by Marius Borowiak and Woldemir Gorelelski. And I sincerely apologize if my pronunciation is completely off. I'm sorry. So this book is published by Kagero Press, who you might be more familiar as the publisher that does super drawings in 3D. So here's one about Taiho, and another one about the Shinano. But they do other books as well, and they do some hardcover versions, including this one for the Suryo and the Hirium. This is just another example of the hardcover editions. This book follows the story and the careers of three particular Hunt class uh, destroyers, although probably more accurately described as destroyer escorts in Polish Navy service. But let's wind back and put in some context. So, after gaining their independence after World War I, uh, Poland built up a reasonable navy for its uh, for its size and its economy, and naturally the Polish were quite proud of their independence. But in 1939 they suffered a double invasion from Nazi Germany and from the Soviet Union. Despite an extremely bitter and hard-fought campaign, they were defeated, and a lot of the uh, surviving servicemen made their way to the UK to continue the fight. The Polish are a group that fought well and truly above their weight throughout the war, and they fought in all three services, Army, Air Force, Navy. Uh, with the Navy, they had more men than ships, and so ships were then donated, or leased more accurately, to them so that they can operate them throughout the war. And in this instance, they were given three Hunt class destroyer escorts. <clears throat> the Hunts were basically a more economical version of the standard J to K destroyers that the UK was building at the time. And they were certainly perfect for convoy escort services. <clears throat> the three ships that were supplied were renamed, and again, I apologize if my pronunciation is way off. But the three ships were the Krakowiak, the Kujawiak, and the Slazak. The three ships served throughout the war, and this book details uh, their operations, their patrols, their successes, and in the case of the Kujawiak, its unfortunate loss. We then have a section that looks at the uh, discovery of the wreck of the Kujawiak, and you can see that this part of the book is covered with some beautiful color photos. The book itself is very well illustrated and there's plenty of information that is complemented by some beautiful photos. Some of it are a little bit fuzzy, some of it are, has been taken, you know, suffered from age, but it all adds to the atmosphere and it is all completely relevant to this book. You may have also realized from uh, some of the screenshots that are up here that this book is bilingual, so it is both half English and half Polish. The English translation is completely serviceable, but like with all of Kagero's books, the translation is hit and miss. Uh, some in, some, in some areas, the paragraphs flow perfectly well, and other times, the translation's a bit off and the, the English might sound a bit lumpy. You know, books like this, all they need really is just one other read-through from an English speaker. I'm available if anyone, if anyone needs my services. And uh, then the English version will flow perfectly. At the conclusion of the book, we are treated to Kagura's specialty, which is the 3D uh, reconstructions of all three ships. And you can see a few images here. In addition, uh, this book comes with plans of all, 
all three destroyer escorts in the various configurations throughout the war and the 3D illustrations also illustrate the various liveries that they carried and camouflage paint and armament uh, throughout the various stages of the war. Two of the ships uh, ended up going back to UK and served for another another few years before they were scrapped, whereas, as I mentioned earlier, the Kujawiak uh, was sunk. This is a great book that looks at the history of these ships. Not only does it give a perspective on the Polish side of naval service, but it also gives us an insight into the tasks that the Hunt class destroy escorts were used. I give this book three stars, primarily because the, the translation is a little lumpy, but other than that, the insight and information that it gives is fantastic, informative, and insightful. And it is always good to read about the experiences of the other countries that fought in the war. Now, I've shown you some examples of other Kagura books, but for those of you who are interested in reading about Polish naval service, may I provide you with two examples. The most in-depth book that you can find in the English language at the moment is Poland's Navy, 1918-1945, by Michael Alfred Petsky. Again, I apologize for my pronunciation. And a more general and uh, easily accessible overview of the Polish Navy is uh, this one by Osprey, The Polish Navy, written by... I'm, I'm not going to pronounce his name. Uh, but if you just go to Osprey, Polish Navy, 1918 to 1945, you will see this book. Both of which have an overview of the Polish Navy, its development and its service throughout World War II. So there you have it. Now, if there are any other books about other uh, naval classes, ships, countries that you'd like to learn more about, let me know in the comments below, and I'll certainly dig us the books up through my library. So, until next time, enjoy and happy reading, everyone.